if your student has an A and you've been getting straight A's on your transcript, that student in our tests, right, is anywhere from one year ahead, that's great, to three years behind. If they're a seventh grader, that means they're missing a significant number of questions on the fourth grade test. If you're a B student, you are from three years behind to seven years behind. Let's talk about what that implies for a B student in seventh grade mathematics. What concept could they be possibly missing? They don't know their multiplication tables or division tables. So one of the things that's happened in sort of K through 12 education is they've decided that memorization is bad. That's not what learning science says. And if you think of cognitive load theory, right, you have a certain number of working memory slots. And the level of complexity of the math problem that you can solve is going to be based on how many slots you have. If you uh, have memorized something to fluency, it doesn't use a slot. But if you have to use your slots to say 7 times 8 is 56, you're now trying to do higher level math and you're using it up on the wrong things. You think it's the current material, yep. but it's your prereqs. It's right? your it's foundation. The, it's your foundation. But the best analogies we always use that parents totally understand is sports. Just like game film. We're like, yep. review your test, figure out what's wrong. If you're the point guard and you lose the ball 20% of the time going down the court, the coach isn't like, let's work on the advanced stuff. They're like, kid, let's learn how to dribble. Yeah, we, don't, right? we don't need to worry about dunking yet. Correct. Yeah. No dunking. Everybody in sports is like, if you're not doing well, go back and do the basics. Well, academics is the same way. It's so easy to fix. The remediation on this stuff is no time at all. That when you use these you know, learning science-based AI tutors and the apps that we have, kids can learn 10 times faster.